sleds have sure evolved over the years, and so has the manner in which we haul those sleds around. Gone are the days of adapted utility trailers today, the equipment is much better. Craig Nicholson, the intrepid snowmobiler, sat down with Paul McNichol from Triton Trailers to go over the latest in their technology. So Paul, the first question is, how long has uh, Triton been in the trailer business, and what, what do you, uh, why do they have such a good reputation? Well, Triton were one of the original pioneers of the aluminum trailer market well over 25 years ago. So we've been distributing the product in Canada for over 20 years. And what Triton has done is they've come up with innovations that many competitors to this day still don't have. We've got things like uh, tilt springs that assist in the trailer staying tilted with the snowmobiles on. They've got a molded wiring harness. Many of these components they did 20 years ago and like I say, a lot of competitors still haven't got it. I think our main selling benefits is we're built with quality in mind and that's our first and foremost thing. So in all the components, whether it's the lights, the wiring, the tires, the even the bolts that hold the tires on, we've thought it out as what's gonna last the longest, what's the best for the job. By doing that, the, the product will last a long time. We, we like to say 15 years. A lot of them last longer than that. So in the big picture, over the long haul, the Triton will be the most economical to own because the resale value will remain high because people know they're a good trailer. Your best-selling model, I think, is the model directly behind us. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what this is? This is our uh, clamshell tilting trailer and basically what happens is 11 foot is the hot selling unit right now for any sleds, short track or long track. And for the most part, the big door is a, is a, a, a good working unit. We like to do ski guides, tilt spring, tongue jack on it. This gives it um, a very user friendly uh, ability that you can use it and not have any issues. I've actually, uh, as most people have done, I think, I started out with, 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 the, with the enclosed trailer we just talked about, and then uh, with a little arm twisting from you, <laughs> which worked out very well for me, moved up to the TC118, which is what, what is behind us. Now, do you want to talk a little bit about it and, and kind of why it's kind of the next logical progression for, from the one we just talked about and, and, and what you get for this that's over and above the, the base model? I think what's happened over the years is we all started with an open deck trailer. We moved into the clamshell because it was nicer to use and now the hybrids bring another level. You don't have to worry about the snow load on the roof of the trailer to get in the lid lifted up. Um, driving up a ramp door is a lot easier than driving up a tilted trailer. So these things actually make your life easier and make the uh, whole experience more enjoyable. Our natural progression in the automotive industry is power windows and air conditioning and leather seats. So now this is the progression in the trailer industry to make my life easier, make it work better. And the nice thing is, and that's another Triton feature, is that they've balanced their product very well. So it does ride very smooth. It doesn't do anything out of the ordinary, so it gives you confidence when you're towing. The only thing with the TC series, which is a sacrifice, because you don't get something for nothing, is there is a little more fuel to be used when you do tow this trailer because of the higher height. Okay, so on this trailer, you can see it's staying tilted right now. That makes it easy for you to drive up and, and drive your sleds on. It will remain tilted with your sleds on, provided you don't drive too far forward and it's easy by lifting the back of the bumper or pushing up on the cover to flatten this trailer out. Okay. Um, with the ski guides that you see on it and everything and the traction, it makes it very easy to load. But again, the ramp door is an easier drive up. Well, what I find the most is, a lot of people are intimidated by driving up to the, co to the cover tilt trailer and not going through the front of the cover because they don't have as long of an angle or as long as a stopping period. With the ramp door like this, you can get up the, the ramp door and onto the trailer and with time to stop. So now they feel a little more confident about getting it in. I think the biggest thing that happens to trailers, we all kind of understand bearings and tires. 
But what a lot of people don't understand is structure. And depending on even how you put a load in your trailer, it will, it will change the lifespan of the trailer. Um, a lot of guys in northern Ontario with the rougher roads won't get the lifespan out of a trailer that somebody out of Toronto or southern Ontario would get because the road conditions are just rougher. Um, now with the new salts they're putting on the roads and all that stuff, it seems to be reacting on aluminum or steel faster and shortening the lifespan. So, you know, you, you really, you, you do need to wash your trailers in the summer. You really should protect them with some kind of a, a rust check crown product that will neutralize the salts and uh, ex extend the life of the trailer. I find uh, for us seeing a lot of trailers come back in for service, we find that anybody who's had their trailer inside, the trailer has about half the wear on it than one that sits in the backyard on grass. No matter what kind of sled you ride, there are numerous choices and numerous options for trailers to haul your sled around.